So instead of calling them up, I just borrow one. But I'm not selling it to anybody, so I'm not illegal. Because I already bought one, which I own. And um, so this this is from um, this is from um, th th this thing from. Um, This are all are all um, are all um, like this. Those are all Windows XP. And, and that other one is Windows 7. That one's Windows 7. When I cut my fingers off, it was on a Saturday afternoon, um, and I I'd gone to the hospital. From there, I had actually decided when I was in the emergency room that I'm going to make a set of fingers for myself. I originally asked a lot of people for some help, and I sort of was turned down before you could even open up a discussion with people by saying it's impossible. And the more people told me it's impossible, the more I decided that it is possible, you know. And I started investing investigating things online and all the different prosthetics that are available and none of them are trade friendly and none of them are, are functional as in returning functionality to your hand as a tradesman. I first started thinking about prosthetic hands and fingers when I was 12, 12 or 13 years old in shop class and terrified of power tools. I haven't played a very important role in this, these ideas and stuff with graphics in the project. I have a background in mechanical special effects, primarily making mechanical props. And one of the things that I built in the past were, were essentially giant puppet hands. Richard contacted me after seeing a video of one of the mechanical uh, prop hands and uh, offered me the opportunity to collaborate with him. We started